It has just stopped raining, so I thought we're gonna do a grain to glass video experiment video. Now been brewing on the bigger system, have been able to do like split batches. So we have the same beer. This is a lager, fermented with lager yeast, and this is fermented with ale yeast, and this is a mix of them. So yeah. So I'm gonna do grain to glass. I'm gonna see the brew footage, come back, go through the recipe and compare the beer. Core winner between these one of these three. And also talk about the special ingredient in this, a special kind of malt, which is very exciting, which I really think you should try out. So we're packed with you. Let's get rolling. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. If you want to learn with me how to become a better brewer, possibly, no promises, and learn a little bit more about beer, consider becoming a subscriber and do like smash all the like button and dislike button. But if you're just here to troll, don't forget to smash the dislike button twice to get double the impact. So let's kick off the brew footage where you see me this is the first green to glass video with the big system, the Guten 70. Exciting!
in time. That was the blue footage, hope you like that. And here we have the result. It says just, it's raining a bit, but it ain't gonna stop me from recording outside as long as possible before we have to move inside. So I marked the, uh, the lager one with a little, yeah, something. So we have the lager and we have the, the ale. And the camera is a bit inside, protected by the rain, so I can't see exactly how you see it. But we have a beautiful mahogany, copperish color. You see any difference on it? There's, there's no difference at all. Both of them have cleared up nicely. I haven't used like gelatin or something like that. I did use some Prutaflok in the boil. So we're gonna, we're gonna compare these two and we set that to side. Interesting. Should we run through the recipe? This was poured out straight out of the Kegmenter and this from the Fermented King Junior. Both of them were fermented on an old yeast cake. This was fermented with Saf Lager 3470 and this was fermented with US05. And yeah, that's the, that's the blend. Let's run through the recipe before it starts to rain even more and try to speed up this video. So, first different, looking at the recipe, the log one ended up at 10.16 and the ale one at 10.14. But there's quite a lot of specialty malt in this beer. So this is a 4.2% beer and this is a 4.5% beer. And of course, this, this is, is in between. So we have to give you a percentage here, but yeah, I brewed, it was a big batch. What was it? Like 60-ish liter. So I used eight kilos of Pilsner malt or 72.7%. And I used two kilos of light Munich, which is 18.2%. And I used, this is the, the malt I've been talking about earlier. One kilo of caramel Munich type 2, that's 9.1%. So that's a lot of that's a lot of caramel malt. But there's something special with caramel Munich. If you haven't tried it, try it once and really exaggerate. Let's see how this tastes. I know what it tastes, but if you want to try this, you could try this recipe. I used this is a small amount of hops really in this brew. I was aiming for like 21 IBUs. I used 10 grams of Halitau Magnum at 60 minutes. That should give me 5.7 IBUs. And also 100 grams of Spalte Select at 30 minutes, which give me 15 more IBUs. And that would give us a total IBU of 21 or a bitterness to GU ratio of 0.43. I used Fruta Flock and yeast nutrient in this. And this was fermented on an old yeast cake, both of them. Saf Ale US05. No, sorry. Saf Lager 3470 and Saf Ale US05. And yeah, that's, that's the blended version of both of them. So there we have the recipe. The OG was 1048. The Efficiency here in my recipe, which I've gotten from staggering efficiency, at least for me. Um, I thought it, my efficiency was quite high on my old system, the old one, the uh, brew crafter, what's called BK35 or 25, don't have it in the memory right now, or 7 8 percent. Now, with this new system, I'm up to 85 percent, and that has been stable because I have brewed a few brews on it, so stoked about that. But we ain't gonna talk about the, the Guten 70. I think in this video, we're gonna come back and do a separate video just about the Guten 70, but yeah, 85%. And so uh, profile, like dialed in in Brewfather, so I'm gonna share that with you in an upcoming video. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Shh. Let's taste the beer, come on. The recipe for both of them are already up in the Big Dr. Hans recipe book over at Patreon. 
So this episode is sponsored by my patrons and channel members. And speaking of that, um, I'm preparing like a big Q&A video about pressurized fermentation. Both of these were fermented under pressure, 2.4 bars. I'm going to talk about the, uh, the temperature I fermented these at also. But I'm pretending, pretending I'm preparing for a big Q&A video. I've already done one, so you can go and check that one. I will link to that one in the description. But I need to make some more because there's a lot of questions coming in. But the first one I will do now, which will be part two of the series, will be answers from patrons and answers from channel members. So I will put out a form also for channel members. And then we will take the rest of the questions, which is a lot. And I will link down below to everything and the open form also. And I will try to go through as much questions I can, but you need to give me some time and I also need to experiment with some of this a little bit more, but I'm trying guys, I'm trying. So please hit that like button. Of course, let's try the beer. And this is crystal clear without any gelatin or anything. This has been sitting uh, in the uh, fermentation vessels for like two weeks, crystal clear, really nice, don't know how well you can see it. Here you have the, the two of them. You can smell like the malt, the Cara Munich. Can't really pick up any hops. But the Cara Munich malt is so potent, so it's a really interesting malt to brew with. You should try it. Here we have something different. This is a lager one, and here, here we have much, like, much more like fruitiness. So much more esters coming through here from the lager one. No, sorry, from the ale one. I'm glad I marked this, but I have tried this before, and they are very different. So I'm gonna go for the lager one. Cheers. A really nice beer. You, you do get that like lager taste from it. And speaking of that, I saw on another channel where he like brewed a lager under pressure for the first time, and he said he was missing out on some of the uh, some of the flavors, really, like sulfur and like that. Yes, uh, brewing a lager. This is not going to be about pressure fermentation, but I want to mention it. Brewing a lager under pressure. You ain't gonna kick off like the sulfur. Um, you won't get at much acetaldehyde and um, the acetyl, but you will still get those lager esters. Like the sulfur thing with lager yeast comes from fermenting at a very low temperature. If you're fermenting hot, like I'm doing with the uh, with lager yeast, you ain't gonna get those like sulfur thing. And that's one of the things that really makes you be able to turn around the lager very quickly without actually lagering it. But it's most often best to let it lager for maybe a few days at least or a week. In this case, if you want to read really crystal clear, this is, has been sitting for like two weeks. Maybe minus a day, something like that. So, And this, hold on to something, was fermented at 22 Celsius to start with. And I think I ended up at 25 Celsius. But we're going to get more into how and why to pressure ferment and temperatures and pressures and how to dial stuff in in the Q&A videos. So really nice beer. Brew that one. Let's try the ale one. But it's not sweet. It ended up 10-16, but it's not sweet. It's very well balanced. I'm still in the lager. Very well balanced and uh, much flavors from that Cara Munich malt, which you really had to try. I don't know why I think about raspberries. It doesn't taste like raspberries, but there's something with it. So, Cam Munich Type 2 in this case. That reminds me that I really have to experiment with the, the Type 1 and Type 3 also in the future. There's so much projects to do, guys. Okay, the Ale one. Uh, 
it's so different. It's so different. US of is a clean air yeast, but it's really nice. It's like rounder. I think this is this is more crisp. This is more like clean, but it's also like more potent somehow. I don't know how to explain it. It's more like sharp. And this is more rounded. This went down to 1014. Both of them are excellent beers. You can't get any off flavors in one of them, in any of them. More aromas here from the esters, from the ale yeast. At least you get more. I think you get more of the caramel, cara, car, I think you get more from the uh, Cara Munich malt in this one. And here you get like more of the esters. They are beautiful beers. Should we try to choose one? Before, we, we should also try the blend, of course. The ale one was fermented at a little bit colder, as, actually, as I put it in room temperature. So that actually hasn't been like controlled temperature control like this one. So I think I started in like 20 degrees Celsius and ended up roughly about the same. I put it somewhere a little bit hotter, I think, in the end. But so no temperature control on this one, but still turned out really clean, no flavors. Let's call a winner, and I will say that the lager one is the winner. But both of them are excellent beers. Let's compare them with the, the blended one. So there will be a lot of like split batches now when I have the possibility to, to do that. It's, it's of course as clear as the other ones, same color. A little less fruity, of course, you know what it's gonna be like. This is like a mix between them. <laughs> Would be strange otherwise, but yeah. So, should we compare it to the lager one? Now this is really hard. I have to place it like that, the lager one, the blend and the ale. Not a strange result, but that's the result. Please try to brew a beer with a lot of Cara Munich in it. If you found this video entertaining, please consider becoming a channel member or supporting on Patreon for even more content or just buy me a beer link down below. And if you haven't already, consider becoming a subscriber. Of course, smash the, the clock and the like button and all of that. So guys, cheers and thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Dog turns out. <laughs>